Hello people, in this video let us look at what this middle ear cleft is. So you know what middle ear is, right? First of all, do you know that? Okay, first let's show you that then. So basically, from uh, the spinna till the tympanic membrane, it is the external ear. From the tympanic membrane till the labyrinth, right? Till this, this what you're seeing in the center, this, this is the middle ear. Okay, then here this, this part onwards becomes the internal ear. Okay, so this is the external, this is the middle and this is the internal ear. So you know what inter middle ear is, right? We are focusing on the middle ear. Now the middle ear together with the eustachian tube, aditus, antrum and mastoid air cells, this is called middle ear cleft. So not just the uh, middle ear, with the middle ear, if you include the eustachian tube, which is shown here, right? So this middle ear along with eustachian tube, along with the antrum, aditus and mastoid air cells, these uh, five things they are including together will become the middle ear cleft. So just understand this, the middle ear along with the eustachian tube, aditus, antrum and mastoid air cells, right, this will be the middle ear cleft. If you remember, if you are looking into the middle ear, right, so you have opened this tympanic membrane and you are looking into this person's uh, middle ear you are looking at, here you have seen the aditus ad antrum, right, so that is one part of it. So they are talking about what and all, middle ear itself plus the eustachian tube plus the aditus antrum and one more thing they included was what, the mastoid air cells, okay. So basically when you say aditus ad antrum, right, what is aditus? Aditus is an opening through which the attic communicates with the antrum, okay. What is this um, antrum? This is uh, also called mastoid antrum. It is a large air containing space in the upper part of mastoid, okay. So this communicates with the attic through the aditus. So antrum attic in middle who is helping the communication aditus look at this diagram it might become clear for you okay so here you have the antrum right so you have the antrum right you have the antrum here then here you have the attic middle what is there aditus it is helping the communication between the antrum and attic so here you have the mastoid air cells middle ear eustachian tube seeing here what is written Middle ear, eustachian tube, antrum, aditus and mastoid air cells together form the middle ear cleft. So basically this is filled with air, okay. It is lined by the mucous membrane and it is filled with air. So did you understand what middle ear cleft is? How these develop if they ask? Basically the eustachian tube, the tympanic cavity, attic, antrum and the mastoid air cells, they develop from the endoderm of the tubotympanic recess, okay. They arise from... Uh, which arises from the first and partly from the second pharyngeal pouch. Remember all those pharyngeal pouches you have learnt in embryology? Okay. Cleft actually this word means divided. Okay. So it's more like a divide. So I hope you have understood what middle ear cleft is. This diagram if you remember you should be able to draw right. So this is middle ear cleft. Mm -hmm.